What if I told you you could improve your ball striking with one simple move with your lead foot? Hi everyone, my name is James Robinson and welcome back to Get Good at Golf. Today we're going to talk about ball striking and we're going to talk about how to compress your irons better just by moving your... That, how good is that by the way? And this is something that I've moved into my game. I can't believe how well that's gone. 162 yards with my 7 iron. And all I'm trying to do is make sure that, first of all, I distribute my weight better and I rotate through the ball. If I rotate through the ball, that's going to allow me to get that forward shaft lean that we speak about so often. We're going to deal off the golf club. We're going to compress the ball into the turf, or in this case, into the range mat. And it's going to help us hit better shots. So what am I going to do with my left foot that's going to help me with this? You see, generally what I want to do, I see so many people who load up really nicely to the top of the backswing and stay there and you end up topping it the ball goes 16 yards and it's certainly not what we want to do if you don't top it you might just get that weight distributed a little bit better you load up really nicely oh well i've just caught that one a little bit thin why aren't i striking it like james was striking it right at the start of this video see i want a pressure point i want a trigger moment that can help me with my ball striking and it's a lot easier to do than you might think when we're going to strike a golf ball the key is to hit down on it with an iron we all know that and to do that we have to have our weight or our pressure on our lead side at impact you can't really do that if your weight is back at impact it doesn't work and it's very difficult to square the club face up. So as I load up, you can see that I'm trying to gauge the pressure with my feet here. I'm trying to think about where my weight is. So initially I want to start at a dress with more weight on the left side or the lead side. So if you're right-handed golfer, that's your left side. If you're left-handed golfer, it's your right side. As I then move away, you'll see that that weight moves into my right side. I try and, I'm working on straightening my right knee a little bit more, but I'll kind of straighten that right knee and the hips rotate. The hips rotate as an ellipse here, they don't rotate as a circle, so they set back a little bit more. From here, I need to make sure that I get that weight into that left foot for impact in a rotational manner. I don't want to slide into it here, because if I do that, I'm going to end up stoving the club into it, and that's the best you're going to get. It's not going to do what you want it to do. So what I'm going to do with my lead foot to do this, and you can do this as a practice drill. I personally sometimes do this out on the golf course. If I've been struggling with my ball striking, this is my go-to tip that always gets me back hitting the ball good. And honestly, that's a guarantee as well. So as I do this, load up and I tap my left foot. But as I tap my left foot, I feel like it even moves out a little bit. You can see that what that does with the left leg is opens it up. It then allows the hips to rotate. Your pressure's already on your lead side. From there, you rotate your chest. We have that forward shaft lean. We deal off the club, and that's how we strike the ball better. So if I put this into action for you, load up, tap, and you can see a really nice height. Look at that again. And these are arrow straight as well, by the way. That's exactly the same yardage as the first shot and what we're building here is consistency time after time after time you can see in the replay here on the golf zone but all i'm doing is just tapping that left foot a little bit and i'm not stomping down it's just a little you wouldn't be able to notice it if i wasn't talking you through it that and that's my transition move so that i can do that time after time and ultimately get good at golf look at that one go 162 again <laughs> 